Jurgen Klopp insists Liverpool could not do more transfer business just to join the circus after title rivals Man City. Man United and Chelsea spent big money during the summer window. Jurgen Klopp has declared himself happy with Liverpool's long-term planning this summer while bigger spending rivals have opted to join the transfer market circus. Ibrahima Kanate was the only major signing at Anfield with his £36 million price tag from Leipzig dwarfed by the amounts spent by Manchester City. Chelsea and Manchester United However, Klopp said the long-term contracts signed by Virgil van Dijk, Alisson, Andy Robertson Fabinho and Trent Alexander-Arnold was just as important to the club's long-term health The quintet have a combined estimated transfer value of £300 million and fits in with Liverpool's priorities. The club didnt make any signings before the 2019-20 season in which they ended up champions for the first time in 30 years. I signed up for doing things this way and in that time we've been quite successful, said Klopp. We've won a couple of trophies doing things exactly but we then get asked why do you do that? It's always the same. We thought it made sense that we sign up our squad that we already have here, and we did that. That is not as spectacular as all the rest around, I cannot change that because you cannot do transfer business just to be in a circus. Other teams signed players, fine, and now we will play them and see what we can do. Liverpool have previously shown under Klopp they are ready to be patient in certain windows to later make statement signings like Alisson or Van Dijk. With fans hoping they can compete next summer for Kylian Mbappe who is on a free from PSG or Erling Haaland who has a buyout clause of £73 million. Klopp, whose side take their unbeaten record to Leeds on Sunday. Previously riled Pep Guardiola by claiming Manchester City and Chelsea didnt seem to have spending restrictions, but the German coach blames his English. I obviously annoy some other managers and I don't want to annoy them, he said. I say something, I think it's right, it is probably right in my mind and then two days later I hear the response from somebody and think, why is he on his toes? Honestly, I couldn't care less what other clubs are doing. Klopp has spent all week fending off questions about the availability of his South American players who didnt travel for their World Cup qualifiers.
He is also set to lose star forwards Mo Salah and Sadio Mane and Mo Salah for the African Cup of Nations that runs from January 9 to February 6. A period that will see Liverpool play twice in the Premier League against Brentford and Crystal Palace and possibly two FA Cup ties. They have the right to play their cup as well like the Euros and in South America, he said. It's not ideal but completely fine. We knew it, we have to deal with it and we will deal with it. How? We will see in January. People are now saying you have to sign two strikers of the same quality of Sadio and Mo. That cannot be the solution because we cannot do that. So we need to find a solution for that in January. The trip to Elland Road is the first of seven Liverpool matches in 22 days meaning Kunit is expected to make his debut sooner rather than later. Which could be today or against AC Milan on Wednesday with Van Dijk needing to be rotated at some point after knee injury last season. We have quite a few games, all the boys, they will play, said Klopp. Virgil has come back and looked really good. We have to make these kind of decisions from now on all the time. England international Joe Gomez will also come into contention having played just one minute against Burnley so far with Klopp preferring Joel Matip to partner Van Dyke. 